Holy moly guys, this technique will change the way I 3D model my stuff forever. I really should have thought about that sooner. Welcome back everybody. I am Jakob and this is Black Masked Fox, your channel for 3D modeling, 3D printing and everything in between. Today I want to reveal one of the biggest epiphanies I've had in the last few years. As you might know, I'm a 3D artist and I just love 3D modeling props or armor pieces and all the cool stuff for 3D printing. And one of the most important tasks in 3D modeling actually is getting good reference. Because without good reference, your model will turn out wrong and basically you are f On a scale from 1 to 10, my friend, you're fucked. The classic way of getting reference is trying to find images online like artwork or screenshots from the game or you just open up the game yourself in the photo mode and try to make images yourself from the front, from the back, from the sides, from the top, basically from every angle. Then you will load those images into the 3D software of your choice. You try to trace the shapes as good as possible and most of the time that's just a pain in the ass. So today I am going to change that forever. And the buzzword here is photogrammetry. Photogrammetry. So what exactly is photogrammetry? Photogrammetry is a technique that uses real-world photos of an object to create a 3D model with textures. So basically, you walk around the object you want to capture or 3D scan and you take a photo of every possible angle to capture all the surface information. You load those images into a photogrammetry software, you hack in some settings and that data then is processed and used to create a 3D model with textures of your real-life object. And that's pretty much what photogrammetry is. But now you might ask, how does photogrammetry help me to create awesome costume parts for my upcoming project? Well, recently I was playing Horizon Forbidden West and then I checked out the photo mode of the game and then it struck me like lightning. Could I use the photos from the photo mode and feed them into the photogrammetry software to get a representation of my object from the game? That would be so cool. And you may guess right already, it really worked out. Let's jump right in and I'll show you how to do it. What is important to keep in mind when taking screenshots? The same principles and rules apply as they do in the real world. Here's a list of seven things you need to consider. One, no motion blur. We need clear images, so please turn off the motion blur in the game settings if possible. Two, make sure everything is in focus. So turn off the depth of field. 3. No harsh lighting. Try to create a lighting scenario in the photo mode with no direct sunlight but even lit overcast lighting. 4. Use a focal length of 50 to 80 mm to get as little distortion as possible. 5. Take as many pictures as possible. They are free, so don't be cheap. 6. Use as high-res screenshots as possible, so crank up the resolution in the system settings to the max. 7. And finally, make sure to stand somewhere in the game where you can move the camera freely around, like on the top of a mountain. When everything is set up correctly, we can start taking pictures. But wait, here's another great tip for making things faster and easier. You could just take many pictures by hand, which would totally work, but in 3D you need to learn to work smart, not hard. And that's why I'd rather make videos instead, which gladly are 4K on the PS5, and later on I will render out screenshots from those video files on my PC. Alright, finally everything is set up correctly and we can start our virtual photoshoot. I'm always trying to make a pattern with my camera movement instead of just flying around like crazy. It's a good habit to fly around your object in circles from the bottom, at the eye line, and from the top. After a few minutes I'm done capturing all the information that I need. Well, now it is time to transfer the screen captures over to my PC. 
As we need images for the software, the next step is to render out still images from my video files. You could just use any software to do the job. I've used a free software called FFmpeg. Perfect! Now we have enough high-res images for starting up the actual photogrammetry process. There are many photogrammetry programs out there, free ones like Meshroom or Zephyr and ones with costs like Reality Capture or Metashape. For demonstration purposes I will use Reality Capture, which sadly is not free, but it is really the most reliable photogrammetry software out there at the moment. Actually, I just stocked up 10 bucks of credits on the EPIC website and that was more than enough for getting a few 3D models done. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video so far. Did you know that you can get most of my 3D models on my Etsy store to print them out yourselves? You just have to go to etsy.com slash shop slash blackmaskerfox and you can check out all my 3D models, 3D prints and more. I am constantly adding new items for you to discover. I'd really appreciate if you gave it a look and even more so if you support me by buying something. Thank you for your attention and back to the video. Alright, let's open up Reality Capture. First, you need to load in your images. You can just drag and drop your photos in the 1D's view here. Then it is time to let it run the first calculation, which is aligning the images. I usually start with a draft, because it's really fast. After just a few seconds, we get our first camera alignments. Awesome, look at that! What we can see here is some points in 3D space that got solved and we already can guess the shape of our alloy here in 3D. Now we can refine the camera alignment with the actual normal quality. <laughs> but let's save our project first, always a good habit to save regularly. Alright, now let's hit align images and we'll probably have to wait a few minutes or more depending on the power of your system. A few moments later. Nice! After some 15 minutes or so we get our better camera alignment. Here you can see how many images of our input files have worked. And it's totally normal that some images just don't work. And because we really made sure to have enough images from the beginning, we can totally live with losing some. So it is time to hit mesh model. Again, we'll start with the draft quality. Oh my god, look, here is our alloy. This is so cool. We want better quality, so let's mesh it again with normal settings. Bam, that's better. You need to be aware that the quality of photogrammetry will never be perfect, like it was modeled by hand. But the nice thing about it is that the proportions are always right and you will get nice textures for high quality reference and that's what we'll do here as a last step before we can export our model. So let's hit create texture and again wait for a few minutes. Uh. Wow, just look at this. Aloy's got some really nice textures now. Great, so now we can export our model and textures here. Let's open up the 3D model software of our choice and import it. We'll just open Blender here. Import OBJ and wait a few seconds. And here we have our Aloy ready. So cool! Actually, I didn't only capture a full body view of Aloy, but I also made a photo session of just her head with the Tanakh skirmish outfit and also I capture her spear, which I'm going to show you now. Hiya, it's me again. So this is how you use the magic of photogrammetry to create 3D models of anything that you can take screenshots of in the photo mode. Of course, those 3D models will never be perfect, but they are a really good starting point and a perfect 3D reference with correct proportions to get you started on remodeling the things that you want to 3D print later.
we will never have to use simple screenshots as a reference for our 3D models ever again. In the end, I thought it would be boring to leave you guys without having printed something and that's why I took the Aloy scan that we did and I cleaned her up a little bit in ZBrush and then I printed her out on one of my resin printers. And here she is. Isn't she cool and badass at the same time? I think she'll definitely find a place on my desk. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. I hope you guys learned something today. I will upload the Aloy scan for you guys to download for free. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments below or just tell me what you think about this technique. And give it a try yourselves, it's really satisfying. Please consider subscribing and have a great day. See you next time. Bye.